Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 19 of Haven Cave Vlog, where today we make the essence of Haven. So let's hop into this episode and see how it's done. All right. So I was thinking, let's get us some essence of Haven. And I was looking at this recipe, relatively a lot of this stuff we can auto craft automatically. And can we craft a uh, Supremium? Okay, we don't need to. Okay, we already have those. Um, I wanted to automate the awakened altar here. First. But I, there was a couple things I wanted to do before we did that. Uh, I'm going to toss down the enrichment chamber here. Uh, do that. Do some obsidian through the enrichment chamber. Should only take a few seconds because I would like uh, a specific... Um, A specific item so let's see here we'll toss two of those in there just we only need one but I, I just like wasting uh, not teaching this to the to the system so like like teaching this so now we got the refined obsidian dust the reason why is the more advanced uh, things require these atomic alloys. We don't have the atomic alloys. We have the reinforced alloys. Uh, but not the atomic alloys. And so I figured run these through. You know what? Just, just go ahead dump the rest of that. Uh, so we need more refined obsidian. That's okay. Don't, don't, I'm not worried about wasting the EMC that, that, that's required to make these atomic alloys. And since I already had this whole dig down here to get access to this stuff. I mean, I figured I might as well take advantage of having the access to the power line. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. We don't need more than that. Okay, we got the atomic alloys taught. Figured I'd show that. Need one more crafter. One more crafter. All right. So, may have saw some stuff that I want to teach to this system. Is one this logic sorter? Okay. Uh, it's going to help us out. I also want item pipes. Let's let's see here. Uh, I want to upgrade them to the more advanced version. I want to, like I said, I want to take these all the way up to the top tier ultimate ones for speed. All right, get a stack of the ultimate ones. I don't think these go up anymore. Uh, no, 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 I don't think so. It's, yeah, they don't. Um, so we got the ultimate. We need a chest here. And a configuration tool. Hmm. 
Okay, so now we have unlimited configurators at our control. We can charge these up. I can't remember what charging them up does. I don't think it really matters if you charge them up or not. All right, so I'm trying to remember where was I going to come in for the wiring? I think I was like, whoa, do we really need this pipe here? Okay. So we got an access line right here, so we can just bring cables along down here. And I need exporters on all of these, so that's for something else. I do need another importer, though. One more importer. Something that I'm hoping to be able to do on this episode. I mean, once we get this set up, you'll you'll already see what we're going to do with this. Um, one, two, three, four exporters. Because we're going to have exporters going up into these like so from uh, underneath. Okay. Get this set up on all of these. And we should be able to just take regular cable. And connect those two up. Which will then be able to take a exporter here. Connect this guy up. Which, uh, yeah, gotta be careful to not trap yourself in, Malcor. Okay, so... That will come over to here. Here, that will bring all of these up. And we'll want to set exporters with fire essence in this guy. So we, we can make sure that this guy gets fire essence. We can uh, put into this one the earth essence. This one will get air essence. I mean, why not, right? And this one will get the water essence. Okay, so once we hook all of these up, you'll see that they will all get filled relatively slowly. Uh, I mean, we could add stack upgrades to these guys. Uh, did I not teach you how to make stack upgrades? Probably not. Uh, okay, stack upgrades, speed upgrades. Um, so now if I go stack, I can request three more of these. And give each of these a stack upgrade, just one. I mean, if we gave it four stack upgrades, that would try to put in four stacks at one time. So whenever these will need it, uh, these will refill with the essences. So now I can grab some stone blocks here and cover up most of this floor. After we get rid of this zombified piglin. 
Uh, I wish that there was a way to cover that stuff up a little bit better. All right, so. We are going to have here a chest. Uh, we're going to have a crafter face into this chest from down below. Okay, so like that. We're going to have to grab our wrench for this uh, mod again. Okay, so there we go. Now we can add a cable. Here we go. So that right there. And place stone around it. We can still access this crafter right here because of the chest not being a full size. So, uh, we're going to take this logic sorter. We're going to set this on top here. And the first thing we're going to do is come over here and teach this how to make the Awakened Supremium uh, Essence, okay? Uh, which requires an Awakened Supremium block, which is gotten through this method here. So we can tell it that it doesn't need the essences, just just the coxed dust and the Supremium block. So. Supremium blocks we can make, and the coxidin dust we can make from the uh, essence. So we can come in here, click new filter, we can say uh, item stack, we can put supremium block. And we can set that to say blue. We click save. And now it will say item filter blue for supremium blocks. Now we can also now go in here. Coxidant dust, we can say will be green. Okay. And we can place ultimate uh, transport tubes on top of these. Now we can set transport tubes on each of these altars, like so. We have to shift right click it on the top to do that. With the configurator, we can shift right click it to turn it to green because remember we made the cognitive that does green so shift right click not down below like that on the actual square so we're gonna have to break that open replace that okay so remember, on the square, we want it to be green. All right, so now we can shift right click that, place it on top of there and make this blue. Now we should be able to set all of these up Very simply, like so. This is the only one that is all center from that, so. So now, we can come in here. We can put the 
box, uh, the awakened pattern into here. Okay, so we can put this into here. We should be able to say, give us some awakened supremium. Take what we have out. We'll say one of them. And we're going to click start. So, see, it automatically places the pieces right where they belong. The issue now is this guy needs to be taken out and put back into the system. So, we can uh, set up an importer from this guy. Go down one with the cables. Where's the cables? There they are. Okay, and they'll be imported right back in. So now we can say awaken just to craft one of these guys. See, it will not take that until after it's done crafting. So, yeah. We can now add whatever other patterns we want. We just got to make sure that if it requires to be on the pedestal, green. If it requires to be here, blue. So we got to remember that. Now, if you hear this, that, that's because I'm making uh, a ton of these iron ingot ones because I would like to get uh, five more of the 16384K storage drives in here. And, well, it takes a lot of these iron ones. Um, so now, in here, I was thinking, we need to do Uh, the same. Oh, TNT. It's for it's one of the quests. Is the TNT? I I have all the stuff, so I've just been completing some of the earlier just craft quest off stream. <coughs> okay. Now that you saw that being done with that, um. I would like to get the Essence of Haven done up. I, I've uh, extended this room a little bit more here. Um, I've extended this room a little bit more here and um, placed in the crafters needed to make the Essence of Haven. I also have over here the uh, Ultimate Research Tier 1 completely done up. But before we go on, actually that was the wrong one I would like, is I just would like... Three behind here. And I'm hoping Okay. Trust me, we'll come back in and semi-pretty this back up by putting stone back in where we need it to be at. Um, 
I don't remember if... Okay, there is not, so... Making sure that we, we've got pretty much what we need cleared for this. Um, yeah. Okay, now that I've got what's behind them cleared, uh, I'm going to set this here like this and this here like this. Just, I don't think that there is more than just uh, on the mechanical crafters. I don't think that there is a... Uh, yeah, see, this is 25 in a different pattern. Item transmit. Hmm, that might have been something interesting to play with. I don't see any other 25 item in that pattern. So, or or the other one so we'll, we'll take these guys in one so we don't have to actually do more uh, make sure that they are facing the correct way we want them facing this way uh, both of them this can be on this guy uh, actually, here, because chest, item transportation, too. So, yeah, let's grab a couple of chests for these. And we've got us a red merchant. You are you selling anything that we do not have? I mean, I can make fireworks, that's easy. Copper lanterns, let's see here. Okay, I can make those easily as well, so. You stay out of my sight. All right. First, we need to wire this up to something that already has uh, put an importer on this guy, importer on this one. Yeah, we need to come over here. Huh. I think we have cable right here. May not be the prettiest way of doing this, but you know. the straightest pathway to doing this. And that's that's always been one of my viewpoints is always go for the straightest pathway. 
I'm just hooking these all up right now. Uh, then we can like cover these up. So that is that. We can cover it all up with stone. Okay, so now. It's kind of dark back here. But that's fine. We, we don't need too much light back here. Uh, but we do need logic sorters on both of these. So let's grab uh, two logic sorters. All right, we can set one on that guy. Like I said, one right here. I mean, I guess we could have put it over and had the logic sorter going up, but. Um, so how we're going to do this, we'll, we'll do the one that we don't have the essence of Haven. Okay, so. What we will do is get Supremium Essence. Uh, we will need Awakened Essence. We're going to need a Master Stone, right? Two of them. Two uh, Insanium. Well, at least one Insanium. I think it's four in total for the Insanium portion of that. Yeah. So we need a total of what? One, two, three, four, five different channels, okay? So five different items. We have one, two, three, four, and five, okay? So we go in here, new filter, we'll say uh, item stack. We'll say that the research tier will be blue. So the very center one here, we're going to put that on here. And we're going to make sure that it's blue. Uh, the next thing we're going to need is I go in here, new filter, item stack, the awakened ones. No, 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 not the awakened ones. Uh, we'll say the insanium ones will be purple. Okay, we'll click that, we'll save that. The uh, Insanium ones go in the four corners around here. So we're gonna set here, 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 and here uh, as the Insanium ones. So we'll just right click that until it reads purple see that on the screen purple purple okay 
Next, we'll do the Master Infusion to Dark Red. I like the idea for uh, Dark Red for the Master Infusion. There we go. And that would be here and here. And we want to make sure that these are dark red. See that it goes blue, then green, and it disconnects from the others. We want it dark red. All right, so the next one, the one that's right outside of that, we're going to say the Awakened here. We're going to say orange. And... Uh, Yellow, we'll say yellow. Okay, so now we add the pipes for these. Right like so. And we want to make sure that they all read yellow. Aqua, red, magenta, yellow. Go through these and when it says yellow, you see that they'll connect to each other Uh, if they're the same color or clear. And you got to make sure you don't shift right click on those parts. Otherwise, they do change. All right. Uh... Get these to yellow. Try to go as quickly as possible. You notice I went right through it the first time. And now, on the back of these will be the last one. Not sure if I'll be able to hit that one, but I'll, I'll try. Okay, so we will set this guy new item stack this to premium essence. We're going to change this color to red. Not dark red, just red, and click save, and add those into this. Okay.
Okay, so we'll, we'll get that guy. Get here. Okay, do this quick. Okay. Okay, so once all of those are done, which will be that one done, we need to make sure that this has regular pipe uh, touching all of these individual groups here. Okay, so let's grab some more of that logistical loveliness. The ultimate tier, of course. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Trying to make this look as nice as possible and not uh, have too much excess piping. Okay, so. That is all of the squares. So we cook this back up. And now we come in here to this. And we teach it, we're going to say essence of haven. Okay, so it doesn't need this stuff here. It just needs this in here. Uh, we can tell it how many of each of these we need. Okay, so we only need one ultimate research. We do need four of the Insanium. We need two of the Master. Oh, so we're going to have to throw a second Master Infusion Diamond in there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what? One, two, three... Six, nine, twelve, fourteen awakened supremium essences, and a total of three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen supremium essences. Wait, how many supremium essences? Fourteen. Three, five, eight, eleven, thirteen, sixteen Supremium Essences. That's it. Sixteen. All right. Now that we've taught that that, we can toss all of that in here and place this in here. And now we can say essence of Haven. Okay, so we can request one of these missing. 
available missing. Wait. I I told it to only make one, didn't I? Uh, let me clear this out real quick. I want to reshift click in the essence of Haven. Okay. Oh, wow, so it knows that this is bigger than that. Okay, so that is interesting. All right, so now we can say uh, essence of... Just type in Haven. So we can say one of these. Okay, so we have everything that we need to craft. We can click Start. And you see that it's filling these in. Right where it should be at. I can see that it's going pretty decent speed. And you saw that it made the essence of Haven. If we go in here. We now have the essence of Haven. Uh, I'm going to teach this uh, this right here how to make the logical or the uh, ultimate research tier. And uh, I think that's it, folks. I think we, we've got a pretty decent episode. What did you guys think? If you liked this episode, hit that like button. If you disliked this episode, go right ahead and leave me a comment down below what you disliked about it, how I can improve. It really helps out me helps me out a lot. And if you have not done so yet, come back, resubscribe, uh, come back, subscribe, share this with your friends, and until next time, later, Gators.